Hey guys, it's me, Epic Realist, and I'm back for another video. Happy New Year. If I haven't said that in a previous video, it's 2020. I can't believe that's 2020. And yeah, time is flying. Time has always flown ridiculously fast lately, and here we are. So I'm happy for the new year and looking forward to new things happening and blah blah blah. But there's some things I want to talk about regarding my random things I want to talk about. Wait, am I even focused? Okay, that's better. <laughs> um, there's something I want to address. Not that it's really important, but I just want to say it anyway because people have, I can't say assumed, but inquired. They inquired, inquired about this question. So. I want to answer it now. A lot of people who have seen my abuse videos, they've seen my stories in the past and all the jazz. Some people, or a quite good number of people, have asked me if my father was an alcoholic. And he was not. He was not an alcoholic. I think if he was an alcoholic, everything would have gone worse. The abuse that I suffered, the, abuse, the physical abuse that my mother suffered, all of that would have been worse had he been an alcoholic. And she knew that, but she tried to prevent him from drinking a lot of times, but you know, you can't really stop that. Um, he only drank occasionally. He would get a couple of drinks, like, very, it was very rare. Like, once every couple of weeks he would come home with something. But it wasn't like anything super hard or anything that would just make him just go way off the wall. Thank goodness he had a handle on that. Cause, oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, he was not an alcoholic. That's a good thing. That's a one good thing that did not spawn from that situation. Oh, by the way, do you know if you notice my hair is green now. I'm sure you've noticed by now. I dyed my hair back green. My green was bleh. My, green. my hair has been this color before, and I missed it, so I dyed it back this year, and I love it. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. No, my father was not an alcoholic. I'm very grateful. Um, he wasn't on any other drugs, not that I'm aware of. Neither was my mother. Um, somebody asked, well, another thing, somebody asked me if my mother was taking sleeping pills. That, I have no idea, honestly. I have no idea whether she was taking sleeping pills or not around the time of being abused. I don't know if she really had no idea what was going on or did she take sleeping pills to stay in denial. I don't know. I can't really answer that one. But neither one of my parents were severe substance abusers. That just was not a thing. And I'm grateful, you know. Um, and neither am I. You know, I don't do... I barely drink. Y'all, I very rarely drink. My husband and I will pick up a drink like maybe once or twice a year. On occasion, at home, only with us. And no strangers. We don't go out with strangers, drinking. Because, you know, you don't trust people, people know how to drive, you know, all this, when people start driving while they're drunk and get your ass killed, nope, not happening. You know, like I said, I barely drink. <laughs> barely. If I do drink anything, it's wine, and that's still very rare, you know. So, you know, hey, it is what it is. And, yeah, that's the answer to your question. That's the answer to whoever inquired about that. Nope, I don't have any alcoholics in my family, and no, that did not contribute to my abuse. So that's good, you know? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know your, um, your comments and opinions down below. Let me know if you went through having an alcoholic parent, what happened to you, and how did it affect you. Comment down below, let's talk about this, let's discuss some things, and you know, let's chat. Thank you guys for watching.